Hey guys, this is Karan Binani from Mobi Scrub and I'm here to take you through a few tips and tricks for the Google Nexus 5. Now, in the app screen, you'd see that there are no widgets uh, tab. So what you really need to do is go to your home screen, tap and hold it and add widgets right from there. And then now you can just tap and hold them and kind of drag them onto the home screen. The next one, which is kind of my favorite and comes with Android 4.4 KitKat is that when you're playing a music track and then, you know, you kind of lock your screen and come back to the lock screen, you have all your controls um, on the lock screen itself. But the great part is that you can now tap and hold the pause button and you can actually go forward or backward within the song from the lock screen itself. Now we all know that we could have always added, uh, you know, widgets on the lock screen, but uh, with Android 4.4, for some reason, this is not activated by default. So don't don't wonder uh, that it's gone. Just go to your uh, security settings and just enable widgets and you'd see that you'd be able to, you know, oops, uh, yeah, there you go. You'd be able to add widgets automatically. And you can obviously choose from, you know, a variety of those you can, and don't forget to install Dash Clock. You know, uh, you have to install Dash Clock widget. It kind of gives you access to so many more widgets that you can add onto your lock screen and you can obviously install more from the uh, Play Store. Just for the sake of showing an example, uh, I'm gonna add a Gmail widget from um, my primary inbox. And there you go, I can just pull it down, read through all my emails without locking, unlocking the screen. Tap and hold and I can rearrange that. Uh, and obviously if I'm, I'm done with it, I can just uh, throw it in the trash. This one's a little obvious, but for those who've never used a Nexus, uh, it's best that you know. So, you know, you have only two screens right now. Now, if you wanna remove one of these screens, you really have to empty the screen with all the apps, uh, sorry, the app icons, and that kind of, you know, uh, deletes the home screen. Now, if you want it again, well, just drag an icon and take it to the, to the other screen. It kind of adds that screen automatically. Now, when you tap and hold, you can see the screens, but you cannot uh, delete them. You can just rearrange them if you want. Uh, but you cannot remove them. The only way to remove is to remove all the icons one by one. Very irritating, but it's it's what it is. Like all other phones, the Nexus 5 has a system tray that you can pull down and then tap the menu key to kind of, uh, you know, look at all the settings. Another way is just a two finger swipe. It directly takes you to the, sw to the settings and you don't really have to, you know, switch back and forth. Hangouts has been made the default SMS app for Android 4.4 KitKat. And you know, there is no other SMS uh, application. But well, you know, you can install a third party app and then go into more settings and then change your default SMS application to something else. Well, provided you have something else installed. In Android 4.4, if you say, okay, Google, uh, Google now pops up automatically. Now, if it's not working in your phone, it's probably because you did not buy it in the US. So just go into settings, go to voice and make sure that your uh, language is set to English US. And you know, once, once that's there in place, you can just go back to your home screen. And then, you know, when you say, okay, Google, it kind of pops up uh, the app. So, you know, just say, okay, Google, and there you go.